Okay. All right. Put all the hair back. Are we good to go? Get the titties out. Let them out. Let them girls out. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Milan Garcon. I am really excited to make this video today. It's been a long time coming. I've been saying that I'm gonna make this video for a very long time and I'm doing it finally on a Saturday. It's a channel update. So I've been posting, but not like I used to. For those that don't know, I started on YouTube in like 2015 and I was a college vlogger, an HBCU college vlogger to be exact. And my goal then was to one, have a successful YouTube channel. Like I'm all about success. But I really wanted to show the HBCU experience for those that don't know, it's Historically Black College or University. Um, you should know, we're in 2023, girl, educate yourself, literally. Um, but no, let me not be shady. <laughs> we got time for that, we got time for that. My goal originally with the channel was to share the HBCU experience, to show people what it was like to go to a, um, black college and a college that was basically like a campus that was full of black people and also i didn't go to a huge college i went to like a small medium-sized college i was running track there on scholarship i stopped running track and i got into media which is something that i always wanted to do i really wanted to go to school for theater but honey she didn't have the training nor the money to go without a scholarship. So, you know, we went not with a plan B, but just, you know, an alternate route. I said, okay, well, what else is entertainment that I can do? So I was a broadcast journalism major focused in digital broadcast. And that is what I do with my life now. I am a correspondent. I am a shit talker on, <laughs> on every social media app that you can download and use and create a profile for and share your thoughts, ideas, opinions, and sound offs. I also work in New York in the top largest market. You know, you gotta throw some shit out there because you know, we're gonna get into it of why why I'm letting you guys know all of these things. But um, some of you all remember, but I, I'm i gonna get to my job and everything now because that's that's all new. That's all a part of the update. That's all a part of the update. Um. So yeah, that was my goal with the channel before was to just share the experience because I genuinely did not want to go to an HBCU when I first um, was reached out to by a recruiter there. Me and my best friend, they wanted us as a package deal. Well, our coach was selling us as a package deal because they knew like these two are like two peas in a pod without each other. It's not going to work. So y'all need to take both. So we visited a lot of schools. We, went, we chose the HBCU and we were really nervous. I wanted to go to a school, like a mixed blend school. But I mean, technically a PWI, but because I, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, so I've lived around black people my whole life. So I wanted a different experience. Little did I know that when you go around the world and you travel and you meet people from all over, you're going to meet so many different types of black people that it's still a mixed blend girl. So when we got there, I realized my freshman year, whoa, this is nothing that I thought it was. I'm so happy. This is the best decision I ever made in my life. Universe works in crazy ways. Me and my best friend were so happy, having so much fun learning, but in like a safe environment because we was, we was with our people. I was very busy. I was interning at Fox Philadelphia, Fox 29. Those that are in Philly and on the East Coast, you already know what it gives. I was interning on the Good Day Morning Show, then I was interning on the Q Show. So I interned twice not consecutively but i interned twice my junior year my second junior year and then my senior year and i was i had my own radio show on campus i was a domino's pizza delivery driver and i was a full-time student i was on the board for two or three years i can't really remember for a modeling and fashion troupe that i was a part of so i was very busy i was very involved not with my not with just myself and my career my studies but also getting money, I was a social girl. So, you know, I was always at the games and doing all of that, but this is not about the past. This is about the current. I was very consistent. Channel was growing. I had a boyfriend at the time. We would do all of those like boyfriend tags and da 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 da. Like we had a lot of fun on the channel. We would vlog holidays and stuff. And that is when my channel really started to grow because I think a lot of people were like, oh my God, black gay love. Oh, cute, 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 cute. We're moving on. I graduated and I didn't know what to do with my YouTube channel anymore because I was somebody that actually started my channel for a purpose. I didn't just start it because I just wanted to be in front of the camera, even though I do love being in front of the camera. I had a purpose with YouTube and my channel blossomed from that. It took time, it took a few years, but eventually it caught on. And when I got 
over 20k and my videos were getting 100k views 20k views 50k views 10k views 3k views 1k views i was like whoa that's amazing and when i graduated i just i just didn't know what my purpose or my mission or what my motivation to continue vlogging was so i got out of the practice um you know it's tough when you graduate college you kind of don't know what to do with your life it's, it's almost like when, when high school ends all over again, it's like, whoa, what's going on? This is a huge change. I don't know what to do. But when you graduate from college, woo, you're like, whoa. Now it's just like fly or fall. One or the other. So I was freaking out. I lived in Philly. I was working at Fox. They did hire me after my second internship. I have some vlogs in Philly. Again, wasn't really that consistent because I was living a new life. I didn't really know. And then I moved back home. And after six months of being home, I moved to New York. When I moved to New York, my life said, Shoo! like, I I have been a busy girl. I've been doing a lot of shit. We have updates. And with all of that being said, I just became really inconsistent. I stopped vlogging and stopped posting for a while. And recently, more recently, like in 2023, I have really, I tried during the pandemic. The pandemic fucked me up. It was crazy. It was crazy. I'm trying not to cuss because you know I'm allowing little kids. But um, the pandemic kind of shifted things. It shifted everybody's mindset. And I feel like I'm finally back in a place where I can be consistent. I'm motivated to be consistent. I know what my purpose and my motivation for the channel is and all of that stuff now. So I'm really excited. But 2023, I've been, I've been inching back into it. A few people have been seeing, you know, my videos have gotten a couple hundred views. I'm very thankful and very grateful for everybody that has stuck with me over all of these years because oh my god girl in two years i would have been on youtube for 10 years so that is nuts to me um but other than that i'm just appreciative for anybody that's watching this video thank you so much and go ahead and click that subscribe button like comment i comment back to all comments even if it's like not the nicest thing in the world a conversation is a conversation girl you can you can learn it today let's get into the updates so right now it's november it's 2023 and I am, you know, living my best life. One update that I'm not gonna make anybody wait for because it's very clear the channel name is different. Um, the aesthetic is different. The body is different. I am transitioning. I have been transitioning for almost a year now. In two months, it'll be a full year. <laughs> I know, girl. But I have been living my life as in ballroom, we call it a 24-7 drag. I've been a 24-7 drag, meaning you always is like, either cross-dressing or, you know, non-binary GNC. I was very much in that era for five years. And then I made the decision in January of 2023 that I was going to start my medical transition and start my hormone replacement therapy. And it's been amazing. It's been a journey. It's been tough. It's been rough. It's been moody. It's been, it's, it's been an earthquake, a tsunami any weather event, and, and you'll understand why I'm using weather events in a second. Um, any crazy weather event, a cyclone, okay, a tornado. It's been wild, but it's also been filled with sunny days, rainy days, and all of those things in between. Um, basic days where not, not much has happened. It was just, you know, clear skies, and it was a beautiful day, a beautiful day to be alive. I have been embracing the evolution that is happening before my eyes and my family and friends eyes and I gave myself a year I gave myself the year of 2023 to really just focus on myself practice self-care work on and just like focus on my transition and like go to work come home that's all you're required to do because I am busybody I learned that from my mom I'm a worker bee I'm a hustler I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, so it's like, and then I moved to New York. So like, if you live in a city, it's a hustle mentality. And I don't have to explain New York City. Like, bitch, if you can make it in New York City, you can really make it anywhere. So, and I've made it. I've made it almost six years. It'll be six years in March of 2024. So I'm very proud of myself for that. You know, my face is getting softer. My skin was always soft, but of course it's getting softer. Her hair is way longer. Um, not Well, this hair and my actual hair, it's about the season where I can bring my 4Z hair out and it won't puff up after I get a silk press, so. But yeah, you know, I got some press tissue grow. 
Your girl has gained 20 pounds, so that's amazing. I went from 130 to 151. I've been 151 for about six months now. I swore I gained weight, but then I swore I lost weight, but I'm still 151. So everything is just redistributing. Um, it's very different when you transition. And of course, this video is not just about that. We can definitely have a video about that. Comment below if that's what you want. Um, and if you see me start to get like, if go like this, is it because baby, we got the heat on and I'm never, I'm my body is never adjusted to the weather, to the temperature of a room. I'm either cold or hot. I'm ne not to say I'm never comfortable, but I'm a hard girl to please. <laughs> I'm a princess. Like with transitioning, your body changes. Um, you gain weight in different places. I was never able to gain weight before anyway. So being able to gain weight has been amazing. Where I'm gaining it has been amazing. I've been gaining weight and of course, like my chest area and then, um, really my lower half like the hips the butt the waist oh it's so fab honey it's so fab but also making sure that i'm not like overeating because depending on what your hormone uh hormone replacement therapy looks like and what you are taking prescribed by your doctor or not prescribed by your doctor girl do your big one um your appetite changes. So making sure that, you know, I'm not ever going to stop myself from eating, but that I'm eating good. Okay, boom. That's that update. We are transitioning. Yes, yes, yes. Love that, love that, love that. If you if you want me to do a more in-depth video about that and, and that whole experience, we can definitely get into it. Comment below. We can do a QA. and a We can do all of that stuff because this is going to be a huge part of the channel. It's going to be sharing my experience as I transition and all of the things. Um, Right now, I'm no seal, no surge. We say that in ballroom, and it comes from Laomi, the icon. It just basically means, like, I haven't had any cosmetic procedures or enhancements done to my body. This is all just taking my hormones consistently, drinking water, and minding my business, all right? Staying out the way. I have not walked a ball in almost year. I haven't walked a ball since March. Um, I've only been to one ball since then, which was a live in ball, and I will be going to a ball next week. I will be vlogging that. So, um, I'm in ballroom. If you've been almost maybe keeping up or if this, if this is your first time here, I'm in Ballroom. And I joined Ballroom when I moved to New York five years ago in 2018 in March. March 14, 2018 is when I moved to New York City. And I lived in Brooklyn at first, but now I live in Long Island. And I'm going to tell you what part. Thank God Long Island is big, so you still won't be able to find me. I'm a Ballroom girl. I walk runway and I walk face. And I haven't walked in a while because in ballroom, when you are in the beginning of your transition, you take your time and you take that time to build your confidence and make sure that you're good because ballroom is not just this yay, happy, queer, gay place. Like, no, bitch, it gets real. It's all about judgment. It's all about shade. It's all about still love and community. But all of those things are part of the community. Like, we embrace the good and the bad. We embrace the positive and the negative. We embrace the love and we embrace the shade because you grow from that. Like, girl, if somebody reads you and it's an honest read, it may not feel good. You may not like how they did it, how many people they said it in front of, but bitch, take that lesson and go apply it. It's no shade because if you don't, you, you're going to end up being a bitter jaded girl. No shade. You know, that's another update. Um, we will still be vlogging. I want to do more rants because I got a lot of shit to say. I want to also do more personal videos where I'm like sharing things with you guys. I'm definitely going to do transition updates when I do start to get procedures or whatever because y'all know I love self-care. I love beauty. I love style. I love hair. I love makeup. I love all of the things when it comes to being full of yourself and looking in the mirror and loving what you see. So, you know, I will keep you all along on this journey and anything that you all want to know and feel like I'm not sharing enough of, let me know. Definitely, we'll probably do like, you know, you know, just some, just some check-ins and just, you know, mental health check-ins because it's a lot. The, the moods definitely go crazy. It's, it's, it's rough. You basically are deleting all of the chemicals in your body that make you think, act, perform, um, feel, react. I may have already said react. That's probably the shot that I took before this so I can get a little... Oh, that's why I'm hot. Take a shot. It changes everything inside and out. And I think the inside is the most surprising part when you're doing it because you're just excited and ready to see the changes. Oh, I want to grow boobs. Oh, I want my face to get softer. Oh, I want my arms to get softer. Oh, I want all of these things to just be soft and kind, right? We love being soft and kind. You, everybody wants to serve the cunt to the cunt to the cunt, 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 cunt. Well, the mental is really the part that shakes the fucking table. And nobody can explain that. 
right? You can say three to six months, you'll see some breast tissue growth, but you can't say after six months, your testosterone levels are literally the same as a cisgender woman and your estrogen levels are the same or possibly higher because it's 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 a journey within that first year to get your levels to where, like where they're supposed to be because they do a lot of blood work. I go to the doctor every four months, three to four months, and they take five to six vials of blood and they test everything because you, you have to make sure that you're transitioning safely because there can be some really bad and life-threatening side effects. So it's a lot that you go through, you know? You know, I take a shot every week. I do it myself. I stab myself in the thigh every week. I used to do it on my arm. And, you know, you take pills every day. And it's all in the betterment of yourself and your mental health and, and, and your body dysmorphia and your gender dysmorphia and all of those things. And I've never been so happy in my life, which has led me to being able. This is why I feel like I'm able to come back to YouTube with the purpose. And I'm actually motivated. And I'm inspired to come back and talk to y'all and have a good time and interact and really share my journey online again on Blue Ivy's internet, like I like to say. So that's where we're at. That's one of the updates. I wrote everything down because I have also, over the years, discovered that I do have ADHD. It was undiagnosed for years. Um, I have not been officially diagnosed, but I'm an adult and I know how my brain works and I get nothing done. I have every symptom possible and it's nuts because it's mixed with a lot of other crazy shit. Boom. Next on the list is I am dating. Before on my channel, I was in a relationship and after that, I just haven't talked about dating, been in a relationship, shown anything of the sort. Both started off pretty good and ended really bad. We're cool. Everybody's cool. Both my exes, like, we still tell each other happy birthday on Instagram in the comments, and we like it like that. Is my leg that hot? Oh, girl. It's hot in here. But my heat comes from the floor, so Jesus. The reason I feel like I'm dating now is because I just feel so much more in tune with my body, myself, my mind. It's all one. It doesn't feel separated. I know the biggest issue that I had with dating before transitioning was... Um, having to deal with guys being very rude and and very in, in, entitled and very privileged and being able to just tell me like, oh, I like the mask version of you or oh, I like the femme version of you or oh, can you be like this or can you come like this? And baby, it might just be a hookup and they talking about some, oh, can you come as, and they would say like my dead name versus like what my drag name was and like, that's my middle name now. Nobody really knows my first name, but it was just, it was just awkward. I didn't like that because I was always just a girl inside and it's just, I just hated that. And I just also realized recently with a conversation on the phone with one of my girlfriends that I haven't healed from a lot of the trauma in my past relationships and I kind of just shut that part of me down and told myself, focus on your career. That's all you need. And you'll find your person later in life when you are successful and where you want to be. Well, you don't get to plan those things in life. And that doesn't always stay your mindset. And that's not my mindset right now. My mindset is when the universe sees fit, it'll be fit. But I also have never dated. I was basically just courted and ended up in a relationship. Not ended up like, uh, but it was like, guy tells me he likes me. I say, I like you. We talked for a few weeks and boom, we're in a relationship. I never dated. Um, I didn't come out until college. That's when I got my first relationship was in college. And yeah, so years pass after college and I am now dating. So that will be, you know, shared and especially dating and being trans and being black and trans and being black and trans and fab as fuck because I'm not no regular girl. It's, it's, it's a lot and it's so, it's so weird. It's so niche. It's so unique, but I wouldn't choose any other, um, I wouldn't choose any other way to be. I wouldn't choose any other experience but mine. It's, it's very fun. <laughs> and you get to meet the real version of people. We'll get into that later. If you want to know more about dating, if you want me to do more dating videos and vlogs and stuff like that, like, and I'm, I mean, actually going on dates actually having sneaky links, actually meeting guys, actually, you know, online dating. I really don't really online date. Sometimes I do it just to talk, like just to, the same reason we get on Instagram. But most most of the guys that I actually date and deal with and have dealt with, I've met in real life. I'm an IRL kind of girl. Y'all know that. I'm born, I'm a, I'm a 90s baby. I just, I just, it's, the, it's something about meeting somebody off the internet and then being in the same room as them and just being y'all too. It's like, this just, this this feels like a movie. This is weird. I don't know. It doesn't feel real. 
all of the guys that I've dated, gone on dates with, and have dealt with, I've met in real life. So I love that. I feel like that's fab. I feel like that's a plus <laughs> because uh -uh, it's just very, I've watched Catfish and I've been catfished before. And no, I was catfished by, I believe, by one of my exes. I just, I'm an IRL kind of girl. So that's an update. What's next? New job. It's not new to me. It's new to you. I've worked here over a year. Um, I'm, I'm in my, working on my second year of being there. And I work in New York City in media. I work on a morning show. I go to work at 3 a.m. every day. Well, I'm at work by 3 a.m. I get off at 12 noon. So as I vlog and as you all, you know, follow me on TikTok and Instagram, all of those things, that's the details behind why whenever I'm on social media, on my stories and like doing in real time content, it's normally dark outside. <laughs> um, I started off working the evening shows, which it was normally dark when I was recording then, but I moved to the morning show. I love morning shows. It's so much fun. And then I have the rest of the day to myself until I pass out around seven, eight o'clock. Normally I pass out around six o'clock. Like, let me be real. I'm a grandma now, but it works for me because I don't spend a lot of money. I used to leave work and go out all the time. So, um, I'm able to invest in other things. I do want to get a new camera right now. I'm recording on my iPhone 13. I'm just trying to share everything, like anything that I can get out in this video. Where are we right now? 24 minutes. Let's not take 30. I have a great job. I work in my field. I'm putting my degree to use. I'm working within my degree in my industry and my dream of my goals to be on camera, having my own talk show, daytime, killing it for 20 to 30 years, you know, talking to generations and of households and being, you know, welcomed in America's living rooms as, as America's princess and sweetheart and things of that nature, honey. But I'm in no rush. My, my journey has been amazing and I just... I'm, I'm on track and it's just being comfortable in that and not not getting caught up in what social media has created with this competition of careers like that shit is not real especially in my industry everyone gets every talk show host that you can think of and list has got to where they are completely differently there's no one way track there's no list and ladder to climb like you just got to be that girl okay and I am that girl so doing what I'm supposed to be doing next is new goals and this is one of the last things before this video ends is new goals my goals are the same have have my own talk show be on a talk show I would love to be on a panel talk show before I have my own talk show some sort of you know um situation where it's it's, it's a panel discussion like the real or like the view and and, and and things like that. Definitely want to start my yoga journey. What's something else? What's another goal? Continuing my self-care. A goal that I have, but that's not for another year, is of course a boob job. I can't say of course because some people don't don't get any search, but a boob job. Mm -hmm. I want to get some, you know, some other minor cosmetic procedures done. So those are goals, but those are, you know, we got time before we get there. Another goal is really to start to take care of my natural hair way more, meaning I need to find a stylist out here that I can go to every three months for a trim, uh, a good treatment because my hair is very non-porous, so it doesn't absorb water and moisture well. So really start to take care of my hair more because I love hair. I've always wanted longer hair and I my hair is like it's in between the chin and the and the, it's like mid neck length. It's not some parts are shoulders, some parts but that's it. That's the channel update. That's where we're at. And I'm really excited to be back. So if there's anything that you want me to talk about more in detail, like make an actual video about it, tell me I will do it. I need those ideas. Um, because I don't only want to vlog and just take my camera around with me and show you guys what I'm doing. I actually want to sit down and like share, you know, I want to, I, I want this to be more personal and I was doing that before. So definitely let's, let's keep this interactive. Let's make this a fun space. Let's make this a safe space, but that don't mean I'm letting y'all say anything to me. And sometimes I will say anything to y'all. So let's have fun. Let's do that. Make sure you guys are following me on TikTok, Instagram. I get so crazy. I get real crazy. And if you're real cute, I might let you on my close friends. But yeah, I'm so happy to be back. So thank you guys for watching this video. Those are the updates. That's where we're at right now. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Like I said, follow me on Instagram, TikTok. I'm most active on there. Follow me on Facebook as well. I'm very active on Facebook. I'm a hoot and a holler. And I like to start conversations and be a bit controversial. So yeah, it's been real and it's been fun, but it ain't been real fun. And you will have to catch me in my next one. I was going to do the peace sign, but then I decided to do a kiss, but I'll just leave all of that in there. Um, I'm not, I'm going to try to not edit this too much because it was a clean talk through and you know, I'm not doing all that. <laughs> so, bye.